Now my dear students, now my dear students, next question is 26 question that is asked in NEET exam 995. When 3,3-dimethyl 2-betanol is heated with H2SO4, the major product obtained is. My dear students, first of all, you can write the structure of 3,3-dimethyl 2-betanol and uh, then H2SO4, when then heated with H2SO4. You know very well, my dear students, dilute H2SO4 or concerned H2SO4 this is act as a dehydrating agent. So, when this 3,3-dimethyl 2-betanol, we can write here reaction. Reaction is this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here OH group is present of second carbon atom, that is why it is called 1, 2. And 2-methyl two groups are present on third carbon atom, that is why it is called 3, 3,3-dimethyl. And total number of carbon atoms are 4, that's why, it, that's why it is called 3,3-dimethyl 2-betanol. My dear students, when this 3,3-dimethyl 2-betanol is heated with, this is H2SO4, means concentrated H2SO4, then, then my dear students, this OH- ions are removed by this, by this H2SO4, because this H2SO4 gave us H plus ions and form this is water minus H2O or you can say this H plus ions accept by this low first of all lone, lone pair of electrons of this oxygen atom and form H2O plus ions and water molecules removed. Now we can see the here this H plus this positive charge is developed upon this carbon atom. So cations are formed on this carbon atom, second carbon atom and you can write here structure. This is the CH3, CCH3 and this is CH, positive charge on present on this carbon atom by the removal of this OH group. And now this is called your secondary carbocation. Here my dear students, when this secondary carbocation is less stable than tertiary carbocation. So, tertiary carbocation is obtained by the shifting of this CH3 group. So, when shifting is done, then tertiary carbocation is formed and after the, this tertiary carbocation, you can see here CH3, C, C, this tertiary carbocation and here CH3 group, here this CH2, CH and here CH3 group is migrated from this third carbon to second carbon atom and this is the CH3. Here my dear students, this carbocation means H plus ions are removed and when this H plus ions are removed, two conditions are here developed. Here H plus ions are removed from this carbon atom also, this carbon atom or this carbon atom. We can see the H plus ions is removed from this carbon atom because when this H plus ions are removed, bond is go between this carbon and this carbon and you can get higher substituted alkenes. So, we can get the higher substituted alkene by the removal of hydrogen ions. And you can see here 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 3, 12. 12, 12 alpha hydrogen atoms are present. So, major compound of this compound, it is a major compound and uh, this major compound is alkene is formed by the, by the heating of this concentrate H2SO4 and removal of water molecules. Now we can hear naming of this compound. This is IPC naming. When we can see the IPC naming of this compound, this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. You can say here 2, 3 dimethyl because two methyl groups are present. That is why it is called 2, 3 dimethyl butene. So answer is that. Answer you can get the first option is correct and that is you can go the answer A, 2,3-dimethyl-butene or 2-butene. This is 2, one methyl group is present second carbon atom, second, third methyl, this methyl group is present on third carbon atom, that is why it is called 2,3-dimethyl and four carbon atoms are present, that is why it is a but and double bond is present on second carbon atom, that is why it is called 2-butene. Now, my dear friends, we can go the 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन है माई डेस्ट फ्रेंड्स यू सी द्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इट इज दिस क्वेश्चन इज आज इन नीड टू नाइन नाइनटी फाइव माई डेस्ट फ्रेंड्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन एलकेन आर सी एच डल वन सी एच टू रेक्स रेडली विद डाइबोरेन एट द एंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑन ऑक्सीडेशन विथ एल्कलाइन हाइड्रोजन प्रोक्साइड प्रोड्यूज वट इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कैन हियर राइट द एल्किस आर सी एच डबल वन सी एच टू माई डिस्ट वेन दिस डाइबोरेन इज रेक्स हेयर डाइबोरेन यू कैन राइट डाइबोरेन इन दिस वे बिकॉज डाइबोरेन इज कॉल्ड बी टू एस सिक्स and b2x6 is give us twice mole of bs3 here one mole of bs3 is give this hydrogen ion to this alkene part and form here r ch2 ch2 and this bs3 bs2 here my dear students one molecule of this bs3 is added with this alkene part here this is in this part alkene part hydrogen atom from this bs3 added in the ch group so you can get the r ch2 ch2 bs2 now my dear students this compound r ch2 ch2 bs2 another molecule of alkene r ch double bond ch2 is reacts this bs2 group is further give this h plus ions to this carbon atom and this alkene is added this compound then you can get r ch2 ch2 second alkene in this way when this third alkene is also two alkene part is also added with this bs2 group by the removal of this hydrogen atom then you can say here you can attach three alkyl part three alkyl radical with boron in this way my dear students tri alkyl boron is formed and this tri alkyl boron when hydrolysis by h2o2 hydrogen peroxide here in this question you can see alkaline hydrogen peroxide oxidation is occur means this is the noh alkyne part is noh noh reacts with alkaline hydrogen peroxide to give my dear students here this is this is the broken off this boron atom by this hydrogen peroxide and you can get the this s3bo3 and plus this part of r ch2 ch2 oh and simultaneously you can get the s3bo3 orthoboric acid my dear student this is the main product r ch2 ch2 oh and it's a 1 degree alcohol so you can see here where is 1 degree alcohol is present in your option here ketone here diol Here aldehyde and here this is the one degree alcohol is present. So answer is C, D. Question number twenty seven, which is asked in nineteen ninety five in NEET exams, and you can get the D option. Now, my dear friends, when you can see the twenty eight questions, my dear friends, in twenty eight questions, it is a theoretical questions. Ethanol and dimethyl ether form a pair of functional isomers. Why it is called functional isomerism? Because my dear friends, consider. of this question is that ethanol c2h5oh di methyl ether is the ch3 o ch3 and molecular formula of this compound is c2h6o this is a molecular formula is same what functional group is different so these are called functional isomers in this functional isomers my dear students boiling point of this ethanol is higher boiling point is higher of ethanol than di methyl ether ab Why this boiling point of ethanol is higher? This is the question. This is a theoretical question. You can see in my concept, in my videos, or in my this course. I can fully explain, my dear students, in my this course. This ethanol from the hydrogen bonding with another water molecules as well as this itself another molecule of ethanol. Boiling point of ethanol is higher than dimethyl ether. So, my dear students, answer you can go the option A. Hydrogen bonding in ethanol. Here, this hydrogen bonding in dimethyl ether is absent. So, this is not a correct answer. Methyl group in ethanol, no, it is not answer. 
because methyl group is not formed hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is formed from this OH group and this OH group is absent in dimethyl ether. Here methyl group in dimethyl ether it is not a correct answer. So, my dear students answer is a, a and this question is asked in 1993 need exams. Now, my, my dear students we can see another acid st strength. You can see the question asked in alcohol phenol ether first of all that is acidic strength. And I give you the concept of acidic strength. Here you can see the three example in which acidic strength is compared. Number one is paramethoxyphenol, number second is paramethylphenol, and number third one is the paranitrophenol. Now, my dear students, when you can see the three example that is phenol, and here this is the paramethoxyphenol. Number second one he give us that is the phenol group and here paramethylphenol. Here my dear students third example is the that is phenol and here this is paranitrophenol. Now my dear students this first second and third with compare the acidic strength. Here before the comparing of acidic strength you can see these groups of phenol. My dear students this is the which group is present NO2 group is called EWG means electron withdrawing group. My dear students electron withdrawing group increase the acidity. Here my dear students it is a methyl group methyl group is a electron donating group and EDG group decrease the acidity. Here my dear students, here oxygen atom lone pair electrons are present, here no resonance present in this OCC group. That is why it is also a electron donating group and electron donating group decrease the acidity. So, first of all you can see paranitrophenol is a more acidic than 1 and 2. So, it increase the acid strength of this paranitrophenol get higher acidic strength that is third one. Now, we can see here paranitrophenol is present D option and uh, it is not present in C option that C option is the wrong answer. Remove this C option here, we can remove the C option here and uh, you can also remove the A option. You can, can get only B and D option. Here my dear students, here B option paranitrophenol and in D option paranitrophenol is present. So, my dear students here option number third, but with when we compare the option number one and option number two, both are decreasing the acidity. Which question is that, which one of the following group decreases the more density, this paramethoxyphenol or paramethyl group. Here you can see this paramethylphenol and paramethoxyphenol. Here my dear students, this paramethoxyphenol is given the plus R effect okay. and this methyl group gives the plus I effect. My dear students, plus R effect is more dominant the plus I effect because plus R effect is more dominant and this is the decrease the acidity. So, my dear students here we can see the plus R effect OCS3 is more decrease the acidity. So, you can go the second option and that is paramethylphenol means 2 is more acidic than 1 in this way order is this one third electron withdrawing group present NO2 group. So, this is the answer and here 2 and 1 by when both are compared with each other this methoxy group. So, resonate, resonating effect and resonating effect is more predominant than the, than the inductive effect. So, my dear students when we see the resonating effect, resonating effect is more predominant. So, it decreases the acidity strongly than the methyl group. So, methyl group is more acidic than methoxyphenol. So, order is this one and this order is present in option D. So, we can go to the option D 
rather than option B. Now, my dear friends, in this way, you can solve these questions which are asked in your NEET exams. Now, when we go to the question number 30, which is asked in 993 NEET exams, what is the form when a primary alcohol undergoes catalytic dehydrogenation? My dear friends, here you know the reaction. If RCH2H, this is called primary alcohol and this primary alcohol when hit at copper, copper, copper is a act as a catalyst and uh, 573 Kelvin, then my dear students, this primary alcohol is converted to aldehyde. This is called aldehyde. So, primary alcohols are converted into aldehydes and you can see the secondary alcohol is R, CHOH and R dash. This is my student, this is the secondary alcohol. When secondary alcohol is it at the same copper 573 Kelvin, then you can get the RC double bond O and R dash. It is called ketones. When third action you can, you can get the tertiary alcohol. Here R, R1 and R2. Then you can hit at same catalyst and same temperature. But here hydrogen is evolved. Here my dear students, hydrogen is evolved. That is why these both reactions are called dehydrogenation. Here you can see the question dehydrogenation. But if you can see this third action, the tertiary alcohol is present and it is heated with copper, copper 573 Kelvin. Here hydrogen is not evolved. Here water molecule is evolved. Here hydrogen is not evolved. Here my dear students, water molecule is evolved. And here second OH group is H hydrogen atom. Here OH group of this carbon atom reacts with this hydrogen atom R1 or R2, then you can evolve water molecules and you can get the alkene RC, R1 and double bond this R2. So, here you can see 1 and 2 give the dehydrogenation, but this third one is give the, this reaction is called dehydration reaction. So, my dear students, you can see here number 1 and number 2, both are primary and secondary alcohol give us aldehyde and ketones. Primary alcohol give us, my dear students, aldehydes. So, you can go the option A. Now, my dear students, we can get the question number 31. In question number 31, my dear students, HVR reacts fastest with 2 methyl propane 1 all, methyl propane 2 all, propane 2 all, propane 1 all. My dear students, concept. What is the concept of this question? Now, we can see the concept. Primary alcohols are not easily reacts with HBr, not easily reacts with HBr, while the secondary alcohols or reacts with HBr, reacts but not fast, but not fast. And my dear friend, this is tertiary alcohol, tertiary alcohol is easily reacts with HBr and fast reaction is occur, fast reaction is occur. So, here you can see the, this alcohol is primary or secondary, propane banal, you can write the structure formula, CH3CH2, CH2H, my dear students, it is a primary alcohol, because this is a primary alcohol, so it is not easily reacts. Propane 2 all, you can draw the formula CH3, CH, OH and CH3. It is a secondary alcohol and secondary alcohol is not reacts with fast, but reaction is occur. Now, we can see here B option, propane and you can put the OH group here, 2 propane all and here methyl propane 2 all, means methyl group is also here put, but methyl propane to all, it says CH3, CH and CH3 and here methyl means this is the methyl group. So, it is a, it denotes the tertiary alcohol. 
here when you can see the structure form of this compound propane 1 2 3 propane and 2 methyl this is a 2 methyl but here 1 propanol means OH2 group is present on one carbon atom that is why it is also a primary alcohol. And you can see here my dear students primary alcohol this is the concept primary alcohol reacts such we are not easily secondary alcohol reacts but not fast and tertiary alcohol here you can see the option B is the tertiary alcohol that is why we are reacts fastest with tertiary alcohol. Now my dear students we can go to the next question perhaps you can understood easily this question you can see the concept first of all you draw the concept and after the concept you draw the this structure form of this compound and you can see which alcohol is primary secondary or tertiary alcohol because tertiary alcohol gives reaction fast with HBr. Now my dear students we can go to the 32 questions which one of the following compounds will be most readily attacked by an electrophile. Here my dear students electrophiles reaction of an electrophile concept what is the concept of this question. Here my dear students A is the chlorobenzene. Here we can write the formula chlorobenzene. A option is chlorobenzene. Here B option is the benzene. You can write the formula benzene. Here C option is the phenol. You can write the formula of phenol. And D option is your toluene. Here you can write the formula of toluene. Here my dear students you can see reaction of electrophile. Electrophile means electrophile substitution reactions are occurring benzening. Here all, in all of four options benzening is present. But that benzening is more activated reacts most readily with this electrophile. Electrophile, electrophile attack on those part of benzening in which negative charge is present. Here those compounds, here those group which increase the activity of ring or increase the negative charge on the ring gives readily attracted by this electrophile. Now we can see here the chlorine, here this benzene, here this is phenol group, OH group is attached, here this CS3 group is attached. My dear students, here this OH group is electron donating group. Electron donating group is always increase the activity of this benzene or increase the negative charge on this benzene. Now my dear students, when we see this phenol, phenol lone pair electrons are present. So these lone pair electrons are go to the benzene. So increase the activity. After this phenol, this chlorine atom, effect of chlorine atom is 2. This electrons go to the benzene as well as inductive effect is maximum and this so the negative inductive effect. So this negative inductive effect decrease the activity of benzene. So first is C order of this, second is D, third is A and last one is B. This is the order of attacking of electrophiles, attacking of electrophiles in the benzene. Now here we can say that will be most readily attacked and most readily attacked by the, the C option is the correct answer. Here my dear students C is the correct answer. Now my dear students we can go to the next question and that's, that next question is the here oxidations 33 questions which is asked in 1989 in NEET exams. My dear students propene can be converted into one propanol by oxidation. Indicate which set of reagents among us the following is ideal for the above conversion. Now my dear students, CS3 reaction is that, here this CS3, CH double bond CS2 is converted to 1 propanol, CS3, CH2, CH2H, 1 propanol by the oxidation. Here you can see the oxidizing reagent. Alkene, this alkaline cheminophore, my dear students, alkene reacts with alkaline cheminophore to this alkenes converted 
all alkenes convert into this diol CH2H and CH2H. So, this is not a reaction to convert to alcohols. Here, my dear students, osmium tetroxide, this is the conversion of this alkene to ketones. Now, when see that this D option ozonolysis, my dear students, ozonolysis break down this double bond and get the aldehydes. Now, this is not answer, this is not answer and this is not answer. So, my dear students, answer is the C and you can see this reaction is called boration and hydroboration and we can, we are already explained in this paper, diborane reacts with this alkene, my dear students and you can see the all reactions, alkene reacts with diborane to give trialkyl boron and trialkyl boron to hydrolysis by this hydrogen peroxide alkaline to give primary alcohol. So, my dear students, answer is this C. Now, we can go to, go to the 34 question. 34 question is a very easy question and it is LR. What is the LR, my dear students? Lucas Regent. Here, answer is this one. A option is the correct answer. You can see concerned as SCL and anhydrous ZN cell to always say Lucas Regent. And this Lucas Regent, we can differentiate primary, secondary, tertiary alcohols. Now, when we go to the 35 question, this 35 question is asked in NEET 2020 and any solve on cleavage with HI gives concept and question and reaction. Concept and reaction. What is the reaction and concept? My dear students here, you can see the this anisole. First of all, this is the formula of anisole CH5OCH3 is called my dear student anisole. When this anisole reacts with HI, here my dear students, this bond is broken. Wow, why this bond is broken my dear students? Here you can get the phenoxide group. This phenoxide group O minus charge is present because this phenoxide group is more stable. That is why these electrons go to the this oxygen atom and positive charge present on this carbon atom. When this HI is broken, H plus ions get H plus ions and iodide minus ions get negative charge. So, this is CH3 group attached with iodide and this H plus ions get this phenoxide group and you can get the two product one product of phenol and another product of CH3I and you can see this product where this product is present. My dear friend, this product is present in option A. So, answer is A. This bond is breaking down concept is this. This bond is breaking down because phenoxide ion is more stable. So, this electron go to the oxygen atom and H plus ion is attached on this oxygen atom and you can get phenol and another part is called CH3I. Now, my dear students, this is a NEET 2020 and you can easily solve these questions by the study of my chapter, alcohol phenol ether. So, you can easily solve this question. 